if you get lost in the woods, there's two things that you need to figure out first. Number one, you need to figure out where you are on the map. And number two, we need to figure out where you're going. So before we start, we need to figure out where you're at when it comes to your relationships. And that will help us keep track of your progress and see if you got the results that you're looking for at the end of the course. So first download the PDF, which is going to be your first part of your Find Your People workbook. There's lots of PDFs that you will download for each one of the activities and exercises that we're doing. So by the end of the course, you have this one book which you can print or you can have digitally um, that has all the results of your exercises to track your progress that you can go back to and whenever you need to look something up, that'll be like great resource for you to have. So once you've downloaded the relationship assessment part of the workbook, simply give yourself a score in each one of those five categories and the score goes from 1 to 10 and 10 meaning this is the best way this relationship could look like for you whatever that means to you and one is simply the opposite it's the worst this relationship could look like for you and if you'd like to dive a little bit deeper in that exercise it's sometimes a really good idea to write down why you gave yourself that score so if you score yourself an 8 out of 10 for your romantic relationships, write down what is going well for you. What is it that makes your relationship an 8? And why isn't, isn't it a 10? Like what is still missing for you in that relationship? If you write those things down for all your scores, it will really help you kind of understand if you made any progress when you look back at the results, let's say a year from now, where you don't really remember why you gave yourself a certain score. And once you're done giving yourself the scores and filling out that wheel, if you've ever done a life coaching program, you might know something similar as the wheel of life. The question that you wanna ask yourself at the end is, if this, was, this wheel was a tire of your car, how bumpy would your ride be? Ideally, you wanna have kind of a smooth wheel that doesn't have like something with one and something with 10, but everything about the same score. So before you start this program, I want you to choose what's the one relationship that you're going to focus on during this program that you want to improve. Once you click complete and continue underneath the video, there will be a little survey for you to fill out all your scores. So that way I can also see and track your progress of where were you before you started? Where are you now? And where will you be when you uh, complete this project? So we'll be doing the same, the same survey, the same scoring at the end of it. And hopefully the one area that you wanted to improve has improved. And maybe some of the other relationships will have improved as well as a byproduct. Because if you work on becoming a um, a skilled master of building relationships that applies to any type of relationship. So I'll see you in the next video.